We are back at the NBC Sports Studio here at Levi Stadium with our first SunPower Electric game. Two teams from Elk Grove battle at the top of the Delta League standings. Elk Grove coming into the week undefeated in league at 9-0, Franklin at 8-1. The two teams were tied for the league lead after Franklin took home the win in Game 1 on Tuesday. Our Mark Willis was at the Wildcats home field for Game 2 Wednesday. It's our first SunPower Electric game. Game. Yeah, taking the ball for the Wildcats is their perfect game. All-American senior stud Nolan Stevens. He's surrounded by a whole bunch of collegiate talent, and they've done a nice job as a team to mesh. But what's more impressive with this group is that a freshman is leading the team in RBIs. Dylan Minade has 12 of them. As for Elk Grove, who's looking to bounce back and even up the series, will send Nate Gonzalez to the mound. Cy Peterson, Eddie Fines look to continue to spark that offense. So it's two fantastic Elk Grove schools going at it for a Sun Power Electric game. Elk Grove with the last minute team gathering before the competition starts and Franklin's Noah Stevens was ready to greet them at the doorstep. Getting their herd out in order, Jaden Ramos with the throw down to Connor Blackburn and the Wildcats head on in. They grabbed their hitting sticks and went to work. Runners on the corners for Noah Mew, who singles up the middle. Coming in to score is Jordy the Jet Lopez, and it's one to nothing, Cats. Base is loaded now for Dom Gusti, who delivers a hit to left. Mew and Dylan Minotti both come in to score, and just like that, it's three to nothing, Franklin on top. Back to the mound, Stevens goes with a four nothing lead, and with two on, he's able to get the another inning, inning strikeout. Nolan, a strong performance, going four innings of work with Tim Johnson on third for Franklin in the second. Dylan Minotti gets to show off his speed at the bat. He beats out an infield hit. Johnson comes in to score. It's five to nothing. Make that six zip when Mew puts another pitch to the wall. This one goes to left. Minotti scoots around the bases and he scores for the Wildcats. And the bases are loaded for Derek Pham. And he cranks one to the deepest part of the yard. It's over everyone's head and that will clear the bases. A three RBI double for Pham and it's now nine to nothing. Not much shaking to the bottom of the fourth. Dylan Minotti stands on second and Jason Harris with a base hit. Dylan comes in to score. It's now 10 to nothing. Wildcats on top. In the fifth, Gusty is now into pitch and he gets a ground ball to Harris over to Stevens and that would do it. The Wildcats take this series from Elk Grove and remain in first place in the Delta. Little Minotti was the man going three for three, scoring all three times. It feels great finally getting the bats out live for this team and seem to really have a really good team bonding and it's really fun to just come out here and compete with good teams. Um, I feel really good, you know, I was happy to be out there, especially against a team as good as Elk Grove. Um, it's a really good, really good program. Um, you know, it's an exciting series every single year and I'm glad that our uh, team came together. And for the Sun Power Electric game, I'm Mark Willis for the Sack High Sports.